welcome back and happy new year. We, um, and by we, I mean me and my husband always start off um, each year with a Daniel fast. It's a spiritual fast that we do. Um, it's a partial fast. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description box for anybody who's interested in knowing more about the fast and the specifics of it. Um, if you're interested in maybe doing that yourself, but I thought maybe I would share some of the groceries that we picked up in order to prepare for this fast. And then I'll share some meal ideas along the way as well. So um, I actually went to three different stores tonight, as crazy as that is. This is a very small haul that I got from Trader Joe's, so we'll start here. Um, on Daniel Fast, it's no meat, no animal byproducts at all, so dairy, eggs, all that's out. No sugar, no bread. Um, it, it's plant-based, but then there are also a few like additional restrictions. So over here is the Just Mango, and that is just unsweetened dried mango and I got four of those because my husband absolutely loves them and occasionally I'll have some too. Um, I got some sun-dried apricots and I got those actually to mix into my oatmeal. That's something new that I'm going to try since I can't have any sweetener in my oatmeal. Thought that would be neat. I got some sesame oil and that's going to be for a stir fry and also I'm going to make some um, some summer rolls. I found a really cool vegan um, summer roll recipe and you need sesame oil for the sauce. I got some traditional marinara sauce for a pasta dish. I got some brown rice flour uh, spaghetti noodles that I'm going to add some veggies to and make that. And then the sun-dried tomatoes, I'll also throw that in with the pasta dish as well. One thing with the Daniel Fast is that um, since there's so uh, since there, we're used to meat in our dishes, I try to make up for that with an abundance of veggies and extra flavor. So I thought sun-dried tomatoes would be a nice addition to the pasta dish. Then I also got this Trader Joe's organic air popped popcorn. So that's good. No oil or any, no additional oil or anything. And then I got this vegetable broth, which always comes in handy for like soups and chilies and things like that. I also got this, which I'm excited to try, um, roasted corn. I've seen this in a few hauls. I've never purchased it myself, but I'm excited to try this in um, some vegan veggie tacos and also um, maybe burritos. And um, there was one more that I had in mind. I can't remember now, but yes. So I'm excited to use that in a few dishes and probably in a um, veggie chili as well. I got some tempeh. Now, I don't even have like a specific recipe idea for this one yet, but I know I'll use it. So I'm excited to try that out. I got two avocados. One is to go with the summer rolls that I'm going to make. And then one is to go with the, um, the Mexican food night where I'll make the burritos and then tacos. And then I also got these three seed sweet potato crackers. So I thought that sounded interesting. And yeah, got those because they are in fact Daniel Fast friendly. So I'm excited to try those out. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I know there's chia in them. There we go. So they are yellow corn, corn oil, sunflower oil, sweet potato, flax seeds, black sesame seeds, chia seeds, and sea salt. Then I got two shallots. Again, additional flavor. I got a red onion that'll be going into a variety of recipes as well and in the summer rolls and the pasta dish as well for the sauce. And then I also got these this um, organic shredded red and green cabbage with orange carrots. This is also for the summer rolls, the vegan summer rolls. And then I'm also going to use this to make um, like a veggie burger in a bowl kind of thing. So that is everything from Trader Joe's. Like I said, not a whole lot. I'm going to pack this up and then I'll show you what I got from Whole Foods. All right. So back um, with the next part of the haul. Again, this is super small. Just I ran into Whole Foods to get one thing, cilantro, because the Walmart, the cilantro at Walmart looked really bad and they were out of it at Trader Joe's, but I ended up getting a few other little things. So I got the cilantro, um, that's for the summer rolls and for the, um, uh, my Mexican food night as well. We'll use that for like tacos and burritos. And then I got these whole wheat tortillas because you are allowed to have whole wheat on the Daniel Fast. Just have to be sure that there is no sugar 
or any kind of leavening. And so after carefully reading and going through that aisle over and over again, I finally found these. And there you can see all the ingredients there. So I got these. I got this low sodium garden veggie bouillon. And believe it or not, all of the ingredients are Daniel Fast friendly. And luckily they are like very few. So I love that. That's one way that we know right away whether or not something is probably going to be okay to eat. If the ingredient list is pretty short and you can see everything, um, you have a much better chance than those longer ingredient lists. So that's going to go into a few different recipes. I like to use that for soups. It's a really good um, flavoring agent. And I also can use that to make um, jollof. And then I got these two because they were on sale. I was actually looking for um, glass noodles, but I haven't been able to find those. I think I'm going to have to go to an Asian um, grocery store specifically to find those. So I got these, and they are millet and brown rice ramen. And so I thought these would be convenient for like a quick meal, a quick lunch, if my husband needs to take these to work or if I just want to quickly eat something and not have to worry about um, really cooking, then these will be convenient for that. And again, after carefully reading through the ingredients, they are in fact Daniel Fast Friendly, which is awesome. So I got two of those, they were on sale. And then I also got these red miso ramen soups. Um, again, they are made with uh, brown rice noodles. These are these ramen are brown rice ramen. And so um, they are, again, Daniel Fast friendly and convenient for, like, um, quick lunches or just when we don't feel like really firing up the whole stove and everything. So that is everything from Whole Foods. And now I will get uh, where the majority of our groceries came from this evening, which is Walmart here, and I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, so um, last but certainly not least is uh, where we got the majority of our groceries this evening, which was Walmart. And I always like to see um, how much people spend when they do their grocery haul, so I'll add that at the end of this video. So here we have two bags of the Tostitos Baked Lays. These are just like, oh my gosh, so super important and really come in handy during the Daniel Fast when you need like a quick snack. And this is new, but this kicking queso cashew dip, I thought that we would give that a try. It sounded interesting. And I know usually, I told you that when the ingredients list is long like this, that typically there'll be something on there that you shouldn't have, but we read through it and then I had my husband to read through it and double check, check just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And um, so this one is actually Daniel Fast Friendly. And then I also got some holy guacamole. And both of these we'll be eating with the uh, chips. And then I got some jalapenos, pickled jalapenos for our Mexican food night. I got some um, garlic stuffed olives. And those are just for snacking on. Love olives. Got some um, green onions or scallions for the summer rolls. I have this stir fry medley, and that is for a stir fry. I have some brown rice pad thai noodles in the pantry that I had already previously purchased. I got two packages of mushrooms, and I don't know how I did that. I only meant to get one, but it's no worry. I love mushrooms, so I'll figure out how to um, incorporate those. In fact, I'll probably use one package of mushrooms with the stir fry, and then uh, one package with the pasta. And then um, we also got some Fuji apples, five pounds of Fuji apples. I got some um, sweet peppers. Those will be um, to go into recipes to add some color. I think that's important. You eat with your eyes first, so I try to incorporate a bit of color. I got uh, this English cucumber, and that is, again, this is for my um, the summer rolls. I'm excited to make those. I got some carrots. Those will be for the summer rolls as well. I got two limes, and those will be for the summer roll, the sauce that goes with the summer rolls. I'm looking, a lot of this has to do with those summer rolls. I'm super excited to make those though. And then I also got um, three Roma tomatoes, and that is because I'm excited to make um, the Pioneer Woman's Pico, Jumbo Pico Salad. And I saw also a version of it. There's a tasty recipe, but I'm excited to make that. And that goes with the um, avocados. And I think I got those from Trader Joe's. I also have some tofu. And I got 
firm tofu and then I also got this extra firm tofu. I'm interested to know if we notice a difference in texture because I really like um, really firm tofu. So we'll just see which of these two we prefer. And I use this for um, in fried rice recipes in like the burritos that I make and things like that. So we love tofu during the Daniel fast. This was new and it is called Neat, a healthy replacement for meat. And I had seen the Neat egg before, but I hadn't seen the meat replacement. So I'm excited to try that one. And again, reading through those recipes and they are Daniel fast friendly. So that's a big win. So I'm excited to try that. And I'm gonna use this to make um, the burger in a bowl when we do that. Then we also have some brown rice. This is my first time to ever try the um, like ready rice in brown rice. So we got a brown basmati and a brown um, jasmine. Oh, there we go. Scoot back some. A brown um, jasmine rice. And so those are both quick and easy to pop in the microwave to go along with like leftovers from like curries and things like that and stir fry and such. Then I also got whole um, quick oats for oatmeal in the morning. I got the brown rice spaghetti. Again, that's for um, the pasta dish. I got some bubbly, blackberry bubbly sparkling water. I love, love, love sparkling water, but I especially love it during the Daniel Fast because you only um, are able to drink water. And since this has no sugar or uh, any kind of sweetener at all in it, you can have sparkling water. I And I keep saying what you can and can't have, but one thing to keep in mind is that with the Daniel fast, it really is like you can read the Bible and get your interpretation of what you feel that God is leading to you to do based on what Daniel did. And you can also read like there are lots of resources out there to help you with like guidelines on what you can eat and what you can't eat. So if I say you can or can't have something, guys, take that with a grain of salt. That's a personal choice that you make based on how you feel convicted. Okay, so got these dry roasted peanuts, and those are for um, pad thai and for snacking. Pistachios, it's my husband's favorite uh, snacking nut. I got this date nectar. Now, so I was actually gonna make this myself, and as you can see from the ingredient list here, it's just organic date. So that was awesome. I was gonna have to like make it myself, but this is a lot more handy. And I can use that in like sauces, like I'm gonna do for the, I'm gonna do like a peanut sauce for my summer rolls. And so I can use that there and I'm sure there'll be other places where that'll come in handy. Maybe even in the oatmeal, we'll see. Um, typically we uh, would have sriracha, for the fried rice, but sriracha has sugar in it. So this one, this uh, ch ground fresh chili paste is actually Daniel Fast friendly and no sugar. So that one's really good for stir fries and such. And um, fried rice. And um, also for sauces. <laughs> and then I have black olives and that will go with um, the burritos that we make for one of the Mexican food nights. And then I have some refried beans. Again, that'll go when we make the burritos. I have the 100% peanuts, peanut butter, and that'll be good for the peanut sauce that I'm gonna make to go along with the summer rolls, but it's also just good to have peanut butter on hand if you wanna snack. It's really good to dip like apples in peanut butter. It's one of my favorite snacks on the Daniel Fast, and bananas in peanut butter too. And we actually have bananas somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Um, then I also have some brown rice, some instant brown rice. These two, like I said, will be good for like leftovers or something quick that I need, but I'll actually need to make rice in order to do the um, fried rice. I have mustard. That is for the burger in a bowl night. And then these are something new that we haven't tried before, but we're both excited to try them. The Happy Kid Raspberry and Blueberry and Raspberry Fruit and Oat Bar. So I'm excited about that. No added sugar. And again, I know I've said when the ingredient list gets long, there's usually a chance that there's something in it you shouldn't have. But this one, actually, we looked out and everything here is good. Then the Lara Bars. 
These are so handy during the Daniel Fast because it's good for like a quick uh, sweet treat when you need when you have like a sweet tooth and I have an extreme sweet tooth. And then you can see right away that there are only two ingredients, like literally cashews and dates. So that's good. That's the cashew cookie. And then the peanut butter cookie. Again, just three ingredients on this one. And that's dates, peanuts, and sea salt. So super handy for sweet tooth moments. And then I got these for snacking and then also for adding to salads, you know, because you can't have like croutons, but you could add these in for a bit of crunch and a salad. And they're also just a good snack. So some almonds. And then these, of course, uh, the spring roll wrappers. These are for um, the summer rolls that I'm going to make um, using all the ingredients that I kept referring to when I was talking about the summer roll. So, and I hope to show those, um, share those with y'all. You like Depends on how well they come out. I've never ever made them before, but I'm excited to try it. If it's a hot mess, then I probably won't share that. But if they come out looking decent, then I'll share that with you guys as well. So that's gonna do it for our final haul, which was the Walmart haul. And now I'll share with you um, what we spent. Now for the Walmart haul in particular, there were some additional things that I got that I didn't include. So there were like some, um, Christmas decorations that were on sale and there were like some um oh my daughter needed diapers so we got a case of those um just little things like that that aren't a part of this haul so when I say this number it doesn't include all those I guess you could subtract about like sixty dollars from the total so what we spent was two twenty one thirty one, and again, like I said, take about sixty dollars out of that because not everything was grocery. And then at Trader Joe's, total spent was forty three nineteen, and that was all Daniel Fest friendly food items. And then lastly, the smallest haul was um, Whole Foods, and that one I spent twelve dollars and fifty one cents. So, those are all three of the hauls. This is our first haul getting started with Daniel Fast of 2020. I hope that you will come along with us for this journey. Let me know if you guys have any questions or anything about the Daniel Fast. I am not an expert. This is our fourth year to do it as a married couple, but I am by no means an expert. But I'm happy to help and support you in any way I can. And if I, you have a question that I don't know the answer to, I can um, hopefully point you in the right direction. So, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I'm excited to see uh, what God does for us during this fast. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.